Hello, hello and welcome to the rather late Saturday wrap. It's PM. There are reasons. Oh, I can't really be bothered going into them. So, a couple of things before we start. Two weeks ago, 1080p. Last week, 4K from the iPhone. This week, 720p from the webcam that is in the Dell well just playing around with things uh, the word or phrase of the week kept in the dark dark nights not much information in fact very little information and things are constantly changing all over the place anyway as I mentioned um, the clocks went back last Sunday morning we went back on to Greenwich Mean Time which meant you come home from work and it's dark so you can't do a great deal in the garden it's not actually that much lighter in the mornings either so given the choice I'd rather stay on British summer time I don't think I have got the choice but if I was offered it plus the fact that it's been well, I wouldn't say winterish. It's still quite mild, although next week towards the end is looking like pretty cold. So I need to make sure I got some de-icing fluid because on the last day of October, we still haven't had a frost for this autumnal season. I'm not going to criticise that. That's fairly good. So the weekend started off well weekend and monday uh, there was a guy who went into a tesco's in north north wales and started pulling down the various banners and things to stop you buying inessential goods what is essential there was utter confusion between shops and the wag and yes i'm calling them the wag etc and there was a guy in newport who said that oh if clothes aren't essential I'm going into Tesco's in my pants, or if you're in America, underpants. There is a difference. And, um, yeah, Maximum Publicity ended up on Good Morning Britain the next day. Yeah, what a hero, not. And um, on Monday, utter chaos on the social medias, as someone got stopped um, buying sanitary towels in Tesco's in Wales and Tesco's tweeted it was all down to the Welsh Assembly and the Welsh Assembly said not us you certainly are allowed to do it and then everyone piled in and Tesco's deleted their tweet and yeah kept in the dark <laughs> at a confusion communication breakdown so I was just looking at my feet and I noticed that my trainers they begin to begin began to tear a little bit uh, on the uppers and I had a look at the bottom and there was a small hole in them so straight on to the Amazon because I don't think you can buy um, footwear in Tesco's well the one in Caffili where all the clothes were on Monday um, barriered off um, and um, yeah, straight on to Amazon and the equivalent of what I got before because although they were falling apart, I'd had them for quite some time and they were not that expensive. They were supposed to come on Thursday. This was Monday. Anyway, um, they arrived on Wednesday. And... Um, when I was going to work on Monday, um, dark, mind you it's been dark for quite some time going in and cold but not the coldest, my feet were really cold and I have these really thin summer socks on and that's always a sign, usually after GMT my feet get cold going into work so I decided to order some thicker socks. So here's the thing, the thicker socks and the trainers were supposed to arrive on Thursday the trainers arrived on Wednesday hats off to them I say the socks well I was tracking them and tracking them and tracking them and then they said they couldn't deliver them in the end they arrived on 
Friday and I've been washing them today so it is sock Saturday so generally speaking while Amazon are really 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 good and quite often and it's happened a few times if it's not the next day and I have prime they put a date out in the future and then they pre-deliver which is better under promise over deliver um, but sometimes they get it wrong and I don't know why the only thing I think of is the guy and it's usually a guy who went home sick or what have you hmm um, I think it was Wednesday I got home and there was a letter from my credit card company saying due to various reasons of the cash back rewards that you get which at the moment are only a quarter of a percent um, are going to be cancelled which is a bit of a disappointment um, I do the old trick put everything on the credit card have a stand in order to pay it all off in one go and then usually get the cash back in December spend it on Christmas goodies I'm not going to get a lot of Christmas goodies this year at on a quarter of a percent and doesn't look like there's going to be much fun around Christmas ongoing COVID no doubt so Tesco's card I'll still keep the other card because well always have a backup and such like um, but at least I'll get some more club card points although not a great deal and um, yesterday uh, Mr Drakeford announced what was going to happen um, post fire break he'd announced some stuff on Mondays and I, oh, did he or was it the Advocate General or some person like that and they used the phrase that bars will continue to serve people after the fire break was over didn't mention pubs and continue to serve people which I thought was a lawyer talk anyway yesterday yeah pubs and bars will be open uh, they're still holding down on what they're actually going to do uh, like travel and such like I can hardly wait um I've got to wait for Monday for that and it looks like according to the newspapers this morning and at four o'clock this afternoon Boris will be announcing a possible full lockdown of England so I fully anticipate that Wales will be able to travel outside England so I'll have my Beano on the 13th but I won't be able to because they will have closed all the hotels and it's going to be a month's worth yeah um, devolution it's great we're all doing different things a bit of a cynic there anyway um, and the last thing is a Swedish M40 mess kit which is basically a bigger Trangia burner and it is a Trangia it's not a sphere um, and some mess tins it's expensive but I've got a thing about that sort of thing at the moment plus the fact I'm anticipating power cuts and freak weather and such like it stopped raining at the moment but it's supposed to hammer down tomorrow anyway um that's it for this week um rainy at the beginning of the week um a sunny and cold at the end of the week and my summer onions they're coming through i'm really pleased so anyway um that's it for this week oh um no i think i'll save that for next week um, thank you for watching feedback as per normal um, and let's have a go at saying bye bye